Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a U console video and today we got something really, really exciting. I know a lot of you have seen what I'm about to unbox on the U console subreddit and Discord and there's a lot of hype behind this product so I was very excited to get this in. Now let's take a look at this. We've got a bunch of things in here. We have an expansion card. We got some antenna goodies. Uh, looks like a battery, maybe for a real-time clock. Hint, hint. More antennas. More antennas. Let's get this organized. Nice. Okay. We have here a SDR. Let's see if I can get this open. An SDR expansion card for the U console. And I'm going to give a bunch of props to hackergadgets.com to send for sending this over to me to check out in this video. Um, we are going to go over the specs really quickly. We can see a lot is going on in this card, not just SDR stuff. So we have a GPS, we have three extra USB ports with a type C on the exterior, a full size type A, and a type C on the interior. So if you wanted to throw something on the inside, you could hide it in there. That's really cool. And on the bottom, we have a battery. I think this is for a real time clock. I don't have a spec sheet yet. So correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and we have a Laura module. That is so sick, man. This you th can't be able to do so much. Uh, and we have antennas here for SDR, Laura and GPS. And this is all the corresponding stuff that goes with this. Obviously, you guys saw the battery, the bracket, and uh, it looks like an SMA adapter. We also have this. A lot of people saw this. I'm going to open it real quick off camera. Let me see if I can grab it. A lot of people saw this at a uh, at CES. I think it was CES. It was a tech expo. Um, I don't know exactly where it was. And everyone was asking about this on the subreddit and Discord. And this is... A really cool piece it goes on the top of the u console so if i grab my u console i'll show you guys it goes something like this or yeah i think it's that way or the other way but it goes something like this and you can have antennas on the top of your u console for everything wi-fi lora gps it, it looks crazy and you're definitely going to get some looks when you're walking around with this but i just think this is freaking cool like that is sick and these are all the antennas for it. We've got a five gigahertz. I think that's the smaller one in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're just antennas. And then the larger one is 2.4 Wi-Fi. I think, I, I'm not sure on any of this, like, but the smaller one in here is for LoRa and the bigger one I think is for just STR stuff, which that would make sense, but I could be wrong. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I'm gonna have to make some changes to my U console in order to fit everything in here. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, this CM5 that's in here has no Wi-Fi. I'm an idiot and I bought the wrong one, but I will pop my CM4 back in here just to make things easier. I will be removing this SDR that I installed later on to add a Wi-Fi USB for the CM5 just so it works. I don't want to buy another CM5. And we are going to be removing our 4G card. I don't use it. I'd rather have this expansion card. So there's a lot, a lot to do in this video. And we'll get to that right now. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm going to be removing the LTE card, the CM5, and the SDR that's in here. I will be doing some sort of hardware mod in a, another video, but for now, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna install the CM4 and use the metal back and see how this card performs.
Okay, guys, and just to make things extra simple, I am going to cut this SDR out of here. We are replacing it with something else, so it doesn't make sense to have it in here. I'm still going to be using this in a future video, so here we go. Oh, I feel sad. Um, I might tape these off just so they don't touch. Okay, so I just grabbed some blue tape uh, just to separate the cables and just to make sure they're not moving around and touching anything. That's temporary. Uh, we have our card in here and we will grab this. So I'm gonna start routing the antennas and we're gonna go from there. So it looks like we have a bunch of these different sized uh, cables for the antennas. Cause obviously they've gotta go in through here and go to various different connections. I'm guessing that the smallest one is for Wi-Fi. Actually, let me put these here. So I'm gonna put the short ones first. And then we'll do the long ones on the end here because they gotta go the farthest. All right, so I got my antenna cables on the PCB. And they're gonna prop, they're gonna all face this way so that they can go through that little cutout on the top. So it's gonna look something like this on the other side. All right. I actually should probably do one at a time. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, on which one goes where. You just have to remember after the fact what antennas you're putting on here. So like, let's say if I connect this one to Wi-Fi, there obviously has to be a Wi-Fi antenna connected to this one and then GPS and SDR and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna start with this long one. Let me get some tweezers. So the configuration I went for was SDR, Wi-Fi, GPS is over here, and this one in the middle is gonna be LoRaWAN, AKA probably Meshtastic. Um, Okay, so I did SDR, LoRa, Wi-Fi, GPS. Yes, okay. Just triple checking it because I don't wanna get these antennas mixed up. Actually, should I grab them and put them on now? There's also uh, an included uh, SMA extension here in case you wanted to have an intent on the side. I might, I'm not too sure, but I might use this for Wi-Fi in the future. But for right now, I just didn't include it because everything's gonna be on the top. So included in the kit were two Wi-Fi antennas, one for five gigahertz, one for 2.4. You get two antennas one for SDR and one for LoRa. I'm not sure if these will be included in the final production kit that you're gonna get on Hacker Gadgets, but this is what just was sent with the kit for me to check it out. It also did not include a GPS antenna, but I did find one in my car stuff. So I'm gonna be testing the GPS with this. Again, I'm not entirely sure what will come with your kit when you buy it online, but Again, I'm not entirely sure what you'll get in your kit, but I'm pretty sure you will get all the included antennas needed to have this uh, work. All right, so. I did grab my metal back for this just to keep it simple because I don't want to take the heat sink off that I have on the CM5 and actually, you know, that might be better because then you can see the what's going on in there, but. Uh, you know what let's just keep it simple let's just keep it simple and run the metal back included you do get two longer uh, screws for this attachment because pretty sure the included ones are too short that come with your u console so that's a really nice touch you get these really well slightly longer ones all right so that's how it looks on the top it's pretty clean considering the amount of antennas that are up there. And this is how the back looks. Let's get our SDR and LoRa antennas. All 
right, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is the SDR antenna and this is the LoRa antenna because I don't know specifically. There weren't really any instructions, but I'm just going off of what I think. All right, that's as good as it's going to get. Now for the GPS, again, your kit will not come with this type of antenna. It'll probably just be a normal antenna that'll stick out here. But for me, I just found what I had laying around and I'm testing this one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install SDR++ and I will get right back to you guys. Okay, so I have SDR++ running on the U console with the card inside. Uh, FYI, this is a CM5. I took the CM4 out in between clips. I'm still messing around with stuff, but here it is working. I've got it tuned to FM, so basically like all the radio stations in my area. I'll play a little bit so you guys can hear it. Uh, let's see. We got that running. The bias T does work. I can confirm the side light. That light means the bias T is on. If I turn it off, that goes off. So that's all working great. This thing sounds amazing. I'm in a metal box, which is my garage, and I'm still getting a ton of signal. Uh, as you can see, like, look at that waterfall. It's just crazy. Uh, so we'll stop there. Another thing I wanted to take a look at was LoRa. Unfortunately, because my CM5 doesn't have Bluetooth, there are some issues downloading the rec uh, the requirements for it uh, because it actually requires Bluetooth to connect to external Mesh-tastic nodes. But since I don't, it just crashes. Uh, it does work on the CM4 or CM5 with Bluetooth, obviously. I've tested it with the user Rex, who's actually created this distribution on the forum. And it was working great. Everything works fine. So I can confirm. I can probably put up a screenshot he sent me of him actually using it. That works all great. Uh, and next up, we will test a real-time clock. So I had some instructions sent over from HackerGadgets.com. And it's what is helping me set up all the software you see, uh, including the real-time clock. So I'm just gonna run a command here and show you guys that it is in fact working. That's gonna be sudo hardware clock dash R. So it's HW clock dash R. And then as soon as I click enter, there you go. We have the time and date. And the real-time clock is there in case your battery dies, you know, the time's always set. And you might need that for other things. Like if you're doing like FT8, that's going to come real in handy having the real time clock there. You don't have to depend on the internet and the GPS is also there. We'll be testing that in a second, but, uh, having the GPS and that real time clock FT eight amazing. Okay. And for the GPS test, we have Minicom running right now. I got this box over my screen because of privacy, but it is indeed working. I can confirm I am getting tracking data from the GPS unit. I will say the only difference was that in my instructions that were given to me for the CM4, it was asking to open TTY S0, a serial device, but it was on the CM5, it was different. It was TTY AMA0, which shouldn't be a problem if you, know, if you know what you're doing, you can find the GPS device. But for someone like me who doesn't really know, it took me a second to figure that out. So I just have it charging here. So this is not doing anything. Um, I have the GPS antenna here, and even in my garage, my tin box, it is still working. Uh, in the future, I do want to test some applications. If you have any you would like for me to test, please comment down below, and I will test it out. I'll probably do a compilation of a bunch of tests on different apps, or just do some shorts, whatever works. Um, but yeah, that has been the SDR expansion card from HackerGadgets.com. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate everyone who's stood this long watching the video, and I will see you guys next time.